Hi all folks, this is Max from AndroidTabletReview.com I've got the Samsung Galaxy 10.1 here This is the latest Android tablet launched by Samsung The Galaxy Tab 10.1 comes in two different flavors and two different colors The one I have here is the 16 gigabyte version There's also two colors you can order I'll have links below where you can get them This one comes with the white back and you can also get one with gray metallic back. The Galaxy Tab 10.1 has a dual core 1 GHz Tegra processor similar to Motorola Zoom and the Asus EE Pad Transformer. As you can see it's very thin and very clean. And the Galaxy Tab 10.1 is actually slimmer and lighter than an iPad 2 at 8.6 millimeters whereas the iPad 2 is 8.8 millimeters it's actually the thinnest thinnest tablet out in the market right now in the world probably the Galaxy Tab 10.1 comes with a 1280 by 800 pixel resolution screen while the iPad 2 comes with 1024 by 768 the difference of those resolutions are clearly different and 10.1 is just mind-blowing uh, whereas you can see some dots on the iPad 2 the Galaxy Tab 10.1 is so good um, I've seen this happen on various different Samsung phones their display is one of the best in the world if you're looking for the thinnest lightest tablet in the world the Samsung Galaxy Tab is the one to get right now. The Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1 possesses minimalistic design with no buttons on the display itself and the only buttons you'll find is at the top the power button and the volume buttons and there's a headphone jack there. Other than that there's a speaker on the left side right here and also a speaker on the right and in landscape mode you get really nice stereo sound and the speakers are really loud they're louder than all of my laptops so this can be a really good media device anywhere you go the bottom of the tab 10.1 has samsung's own proprietary connector which can be used to charge the tab 10.1 hook up other adapters from samsung such as the acmi adapter which can be used to output in 1080p to your hdtv there's also a landscape keyboard you can dock to this connector which turns your Galaxy Tab 10.1 into a netbook. Um, I'll have links below where you can get all that. You can also add USB host devices such as your portable USB hard disk through a USB adapter so you can copy over all your files or you might want to just uh, make your tab have more storage space. You can also find the microphone hidden right here on the bottom of the tab 10.1. Let me show you some mind-blowing HD graphic games on the tab. So I've got the Backbreaker. It's a football game that you can play and it's a lot of fun. And I'll show you this is a fun game here. And while that's playing, we can open up another game such as the Samurai Vengeance 2 Vengeance and play this game too. And this is a really fun game and the graphics are just stunning. With the 1280 by 800 resolution, there's nothing you can go wrong with the Galaxy Tab 10.1. And it's so light, it's really easy to hold it for hours without straining your wrists. And now let's go look at another game. Uh, we can look at Gorilla Bob. And we'll go into the game mode here.
And this is all loading while I have the other two HD graphic games on here. And I just need to get this shooting game. And just the graphics are mind blowing. There's there's not too many games on the market, but uh, I found that this tablet, the Honeycomb Android 3.1, is backward compatible with most apps. Um, the only drawback is that if it's not optimized for Android tablets, you're gonna get um, low resolution on a big screen. But um, as we go along, there's gonna be more HD apps, so I don't see that as a big problem. And now I can show you how well it multitasks by going back to this other games. And I can keep playing. And then I can go to another game, which is really cool. That I can just come back and play all these three HD games with the power of the Tegra. Now let's go to Google while all those apps are loaded. Let's go watch a video on CNN. Real security forces are killing people, then hiding the bodies, he tells us. They're throwing corpses. So while that's going on, I can go to Flash Games. Um, this is actually just a mobile browser Flash game. And I can play Flash Games. And I can try other games at this site. Let's try Bowman. Let's try versus computer. I'm not sure how to play this one. Okay, so it's kind of like, there we go. Oh, you're trying to hit the other person. So having flash on your tablet device is such a plus. Because now it means that you can you can play all these games that uh, you can't on an iPad. So while that's all working, let's go bring up our camera and record in uh, 720p HD. The back camera has a LED flash and it does 3 megapixels but it can record videos in 720p HD. And uh, I can start recording anytime I want to. And it's actually the flash is on now. Um, it's very macro here. Let me show you the front camera, which is two megapixel. Actually, the front camera is really nice. It could be really good for video chatting. The Galaxy Tab also has really great battery life. I've had not charged this thing for two days. I still have 49%. I probably used it like two hours yesterday and the day before maybe like like five six hours uh, meaning on standby this thing's gonna probably last you uh, over a week and if you use it like you know constantly all day long um, I'm sure you can get easily 12 13 hours overall the Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1 is the best 10.1 inch tablet in the market right now with the sleeker thinner design than iPad 2 with better clear resolution display I have to say that the Samsung Galaxy Tab 10.1 is the clear winner. That's probably just tip of the iceberg though. Think of what you can do when it's rooted and overclocked, which I'll be doing. You just can't do that with an iPad 2, even if you jailbreak it. That's my most complaint, that you can't overclock it. This is the most popular Android tablet right now. It took me two weeks on pre-order to get it from Best Buy. And for those of you who want it, you can pre-order yours through the links on the bottom of this video. You might have to wait a bit longer as I ordered it on launch day. I know they're selling these like hotcakes, but I would definitely try to get them ordered right now if you want to get your hands on soon as possible. Anyway, thanks you all for subscribing. I'll have more hacks and tips for the Galaxy Tab and other Android tablets, and I've got the Asus EE Pad Transformer um, coming in mail as we speaketh. So thanks y'all and subscribe. See y'all.